Hey everyone, Tony Walsh here. Welcome back to the channel and another edition of Wednesday in the Word. <clears throat> see, I'm back out here in the garden. Of course, you can see me swatting, so then the, the gnats are out. Uh, it's strange to have the gnats out this late in the summer, but, but they are here. So, besides being in the garden, I'm here in front of the cross, and that's what I want to talk today about is the cross. But I want to start off with a story about a soldier that was serving in in battle in, in wartime and his uh shells were falling all around him he, he was digging himself into a into a foxhole and uh, all of a sudden he felt his hand come across something metal and so when he looked in it or looked in his hand it was a metal cross careful got got scarlet down here Suddenly, as another shell exploded by his head, he put, he put his head in his arms, you know, just trying to duck, duck and protect himself. When he felt someone jump in the foxhole beside him, and when he looked up, it was an army chaplain. Come on, baby, back up. So anyways, he took that cross and held it up to the chaplain and said, how do you work this thing? See, that's a strange question. It is something that we need to be asking ourselves. Is quit now. Is how do we work this thing? Well, in the Gospel of Mark, in chapter eight, verses thirty-four and thirty-five, he says, "Then he called the crowd to him, along with the disciples, and said, "Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it." But whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. So think about that for a moment. You know, there's nothing in the gospels which shows the sheer force of the personality of who Jesus Christ is. See, self-denial for all of us is not easy because we live in a society where we want what we want and we want it now we we want everything see we all have goals but Jesus is clear about this one thing he's clear that when we choose to freely follow him he doesn't force us to follow him he asks you know, he said, yes, come follow me. But he says it in a tone with, with a question mark in, at the end of it. But in order to follow him like he wants us to, we have to deny ourselves. And that's hard for a lot of us because there are things that we just don't want to give up. That means... You can't always do what you want to do when you want to do it. That means that you will face tough, life-changing decisions that need to be made in the shadow of the cross and not the desires of the heart. Now, that doesn't mean that you'll be deprived of joy and happiness. Rather, it means that you will find fulfillment. You will find joy and you will find happiness through your dedication to Jesus Christ. See, denial is placing yourself in his hands. Denial is placing yourself in the hands of God at all times, no matter where his hands might lead you. Jesus said, take up your cross. In other words, pick it up yourself. He didn't say grab a hold of this cross to provide protection. He didn't say wear this cross as a fashion statement. He said, pick it up. And this means that there is a choice. See, Jesus had a choice whether he was going to pick up his cross or not. He could have said no, but he didn't. We have a choice whether we are picking up ours or not. But what does it mean to bear your cross? To answer that, 
Let's consider what bearing your cross is not. When people say, or when people face a difficult circumstance or circumstances, they'll often say, well, I guess that's a cross I'll have to bear. And they generally say it with one of those poor, pitiful me tones of voice. But that's not bearing your cross. When people speak about bearing your cross, they're speaking about circumstances and situations that given the choice, they wouldn't choose it. But what we should say or what they should say is that they understand the situation and they'll know how to deal with it. Now, I don't say this in light to make, uh, to make, to make light or make fun of the unfortunate because there are tragic things that happen. There are tra tragic situations that we find ourselves in. But that's not just bearing a cross. See, people are suffering from sickness, from disease, from mental anguish, and it's a horrible misfortune, but it's not bearing a cross. See, bearing the cross is a choice. It's a voluntary form of sacrificial obedience that identifies us completely with Jesus Christ. Burying our cross is not just making the best of a specific situation. It's something that we deliberately take up and bear. Now, we don't usually like doing that because we would rather wear a cross than bear a cross. We want to take the easy way out. Thankfully, Jesus didn't. See, whenever we see a cross just like this one here, it should speak to us as a reminder of Christ's tenacious determination to do His Father's will by dying for us on Calvary. See, the cross is all about making a choice. The cross is about discipline. It's about hard work. It's about obedience. And it's about commitment. Bearing that cross isn't easy. But it draws us closer to Him. When we bear that cross, our relationship with Jesus Christ is improved. And it makes us more Christ-like, for never such as a symbol as that behind me has been more of a symbol than pain and anguish, pain and torture. But that pain, anguish, and torture was a resurrected into a symbol of hope, a symbol of of never-ending love and that's what Jesus Christ has for us so if you want to be a follower of him deny yourself take up your cross and follow him that's our Wednesday in the word for this week I hope y'all have a blessed day and a blessed rest of the week. Y'all take care, and God bless.